What's up? Today we have a 2000 Honda Civic. Um, I think it's an LX and uh, I just pulled the codes on it using a Zurich ZR13 which is a Harbor Freight bot scanner. It was about 200 bucks I think it was a sale. I got it for like 180 or 200 I don't know. It's supposed to read SRS um, and airbag codes and stuff so it's worked for what I use it for so I can't complain. Anyways, uh, it's showing we have a PO302, which is cylinder number two misfire. All right, severe two of three. Let's see. Fuel system problem affecting only cylinder two. Ignition system problem. Base engine mechanical, blah, blah, blah. And gives us fuel system, calculated load, bank one. We also have an idle air control system, a uh, misfire number one, and a random misfire. Okay, not bad. Number two, idle air control system, and cylinder number five. All right, so this is what happens when we turn it on, let's see. Starts, burns up a little bit. So let's check it out. So today I'm going to show you two things. First, I'm going to show you how to get rid of code P505 or P0505, which is your idle air control valve. The idle air control valve is this thing right here, right there. You see those two screws and that plastic thing? That's your idle air control valve. It sits underneath your air box. In order for you to access this, you need to remove all four clips, remove the air box, take this hose off so you can have more clearance, you know? And then you will need to remove the actual air cleaner housing. In order for you to do that, you have to reach back here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a hose clamp to your left holding the uh, air intake housing. Um, you unscrew that, I think it's a 8 millimeter bolt, and then the whole, whole um, this whole assembly is going to come off. And then this thing is held in by four screws, which is also 8 millimeters, one right there, one right there, and two underneath it. Okay, Hondo is kind enough to leave some space to get through here with an extension and stuff. Uh, I wasn't able to record it, but I'm explaining to you how I did it. So that's how I did it. I got an extension, a tiny extension, and I was able to reach with an eight millimeter socket and turn the bottom ones. You take that off. And then uh, it comes out. You replace the new one, put the new gasket in, tighten all four bolts up, and voila, it gets rid of your code. I had the before and I'll show you the after. But what we're doing today is our cooling fan's not working. The AC fan works, but these two work independent from each other. So I was looking online and everywhere else I could, I looked at the wiring diagram, and it turns out it's this thing right here. This right here is your thermostat housing coolant temperature sensor, or whatever this is. It's called a thermostat switch. This thermostat switch doesn't allow my fans to come on. So when I unplug this and I put a paper clip in here, provide direct power to the fans, the fans come on. So this is what we're gonna replace here today. And in order for you to replace this, you're gonna need a pair of pliers and a 24 millimeter socket, okay? So first things first, of course, we already loosened up this hose clamp. You gotta remove this. Put a drain pan underneath so you don't get all this cooling out. Make sure the engine's cold too, so you don't burn yourself. So once we remove that clamp, we take this hose out of the way. And now we should have enough space to get to our sensor back here. So here's my setup. We got a 24. Oh yeah! In order for us to have more access, uh, more room, we're gonna take off the uh, hose. Just pop it out, pull it out of place. All right. Here, can you hold on to the camera? It's already recording. Now we'll grab our setup. 
All right, so that extension in a 24 inch socket. My impact socket is the only one that I got, but we put it over here and I already loosened this up. So you take that out. You can loosen it up by hand now. Some coolant spilled up. So there you go. Look at this. It's so old. So this is the old one. Let me get the new one real quick. Which I'll put the part number in the description, but it's 37760. Let's see. Three, there we go. 37760 P00-003. I picked this up at the Honda dealer. We compare parts. Of course. There they are. That's the old one and the new one. Alright, so let's do the same thing and pop this new one back in. So here we go. Alright, let's tighten it up. It's snug in there. Let's put this on and let's put our hose back on. All right. Thank you, sir. Put our hose clamp back. And that's it. That's how you replace your thermostat housing sensor so your fans can come on. How you fix your fans that are not coming on yep. on your Honda? Just this first. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So after replacing that uh, idle air control valve, which is that IAC, let's see what happens. Look at that. Now it doesn't jump up or down like before. Now it's good idling right where it should nice and uh, also now our fans come on once we replace that thermostat sensor I put the parts uh, number in the description uh, our fans kick on and uh, we're good we also installed the radio on it so looks really nice now and uh, yeah it's a really good car very clean. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. Appreciate it. Have a good day.